sustainability it's, it's central to what the workspace can do why is sustainability important to you and how is the work that you do cater to this idea so i think um as a designer we have for for many years been uh, kind of like taught up with with the idea of putting people yeah. in the center mm. um, and that all solutions should be driven by what people want yeah. um, i think now what we're seeing is that you know human centered design is maybe not going a hundred percent according to plan uh, because the solutions are maybe sometimes good for people on an individual level but the consequences those solutions have on our society mm. or on our climate uh, is, is becoming quite uh, striking at the moment. So for us, sustainability is more to make sure that uh, we design for, for the planet as a whole and for people as, as a group and rather than an individual. Um, which is basically, I think, a big shift we're seeing not only from Space 10, we're seeing that from around the world here in Delhi. It's, it's yeah. even more urgent than, than, than where we come from in Copenhagen. Um, so that's basically a little bit why why we're doing it. Yeah. Space 10 as a name is quite simple actually. Uh, space is what we work with every day. We work with spaces, we work with people's life at home. Uh, and and uh, that was an obvious. Uh, we also wanted to create space for new ideas. Yeah. Um, why 10? And uh, 10 was uh, both because it's number 10, we're located in Copenhagen. Oh, oh. But, <laughs> but it's, it's actually uh, also because uh, 10 is, is for us uh, the digital side of it, like the binary of ones and zeros. Mm. So we thought it would be a quite good combination to have the physical space and the digital uh, combining one. Mm. So with sustainability, we uh, think of the thoughts like going back to the vernacular, going back to the roots. Mm. It's a very uh, uh, humble approach to yeah. things. And when technology comes into picture, it's sort of it's on the other side of the spectrum, right? Yeah. So how does technology kind of ensures this idea of sustainability? Yeah. And I think what we like to talk about is more uh, the digital technology. So for us, digital is where technology meets people. So yeah. that can be uh, an air purifier at home, it can be an application knowing where you're walking around, it can be the music you hear in your speaker. But if we don't understand how technology can it be an enabler of not just entertainment, mm -hmm. but also on sustainable and healthy living, yeah. uh, we, will, we, will, we will not, I think, fix it at scale. We can maybe, some people can go back to the roots, but at large, with, with more than 7 billion people on this planet, technology will be, we believe, a key enabler um, of the future of good design mm. but we need to refocus what technology can do away from yeah. social media and, uh, and and that kind of like very passive consumption into uh, tools that can enable creators. Mm. There's an idea that your team focuses on, the idea of uh, no user interface, it somehow kind of also reflects in the work that we have produced till now. Mm. So could you elaborate on what this idea is, no user interface? When we work with design and we have a, let's say, an, a vision of where we could move, we have worked a lot, for example, on shared living shared and how living, yes. uh, architecture and the way we live at home will change dramatically. And let's take then uh, sustainability and technology as, as things we would like to put into that solution. Mm. You can either do it uh, very simplistic uh, and you make an app, right? But I think the world is maybe not short of apps today. <laughs> um, but uh, often the app is just like the, the last interface between uh, people and, and let's say uh, clean air. And what we're trying to do is sometimes to say, instead of just focusing on that little interface, how could it be a more integrated solution in your home rather than just in your phone? And when you start to think about it like that as a designer, how could we integrate this into the overall solution rather than just having it in the palm of your hand? The ideas become different. And you don't think about like whether you should control uh, the air quality. The home itself will control the air quality. So I think it's a natural progression that like we should not disturb people more than necessary. <laughs> and things that could be done without people in the loop all the time, we believe is maybe a good time. Space 10 has popped up a lot of its labs across mm. various cities mm. in the world. And now we have come to Delhi. We mm. have a studio here. Yeah. So why India? The purpose-driven design that we see from India is for us truly inspiring, you know, that every time I meet people here, uh, they are not just doing it because of themselves. They are actually doing it because there is a bigger purpose behind what yes. they do. And 
and that passion is for us something we're almost addicted to you know like yeah. you go where the energy is yeah, and, um, and and I think obviously the scale of India is one but also the, the, the a lot of the, the things that you were doing and have done for centuries is something we find is almost some of the things we think the future should also bring so we were we were it was a very obvious choice that we, we needed to come here we have gone through a, a crazy journey and uh, yes i've definitely had my my part of it but i think a project like space 10 is a great example of what you can achieve if you collaborate and if you are a group of people who have a shared mission If I, if I should stir up the, the future with Space 10, I think um, the key would probably be to uh, break out of the traditional uh, role of design from being something that is either driven by uh, a visual approach or by sometimes a very individual approach to become uh, a collective uh, uh, approach of, of design. But I think it's very clear that if you want to succeed in the future, you need to uh, Be a, uh, be a collective and you need to uh, almost become a movement beyond your own ability to create. That means a lot of new perspectives, a lot of new people, different cultures, different backgrounds, different ideas, a lot of chaos, uh, but hopefully also a lot of ambition on, on, on making sure you don't just talk about things, but that you also act on them.